2017 has been a big year for women. Earlier this month, Time magazine dedicated its prestigious A Person of the Year title to the silence breakers, the thousands of women whose stories of sexual harassment have led to what Time called the biggest cultural reckoning in decades. But the fight for respect and equality is bigger than Me Too, like in Iran, where women are subject to strict Islamic code. But if the women we're about to hear about have their way, that's about to change. Let's bring in a Liz show from our social media desk for more on this. Hi, Liz. So a battle of the sexes is brewing in Iran. Tell us more. Yeah, that's right, Sumi. You are seeing women in Iran saying, OK, we don't want men to tell us what to wear. We don't want them to tell us what we should look like when we are out and about on the streets. So they've launched a campaign. They call it White Wednesdays. And all the women who are supporting that campaign every Wednesday have to wear at least one white item. So it can be something like a bracelet or it can be a dress. And the women that are very brave, they decide on those Wednesdays to completely take off their hijabs something that is actually forbidden in Iran. And let me just show you, Sumi, a video that has gone viral on Instagram here. This is an Iranian woman. As you can see, she's not covering her head. And then you have that security officer there kind of blocking her way. He doesn't want her to continue walking down the street. So lots of people um, have commented on this, saying this is how women are being oppressed in Iran. And we're also seeing women across the the country joining the White Wednesdays movement and also giving reasons why they're doing that. Here, take a look. So the women in Iran being very defiant there, Sumi. Liz, who are the women behind this campaign? Well, it was actually started by one woman. She is from Iran, but she lives in the U.S. in exile. Her name is Masi Alinejad, and she's very popular on social media. She had started similar campaigns fighting for women's rights, saying the women who don't want to wear a hijab should not be forced to do that. She has a large following on social media, especially on Instagram. So the women in Iran send her uh, their videos and pictures, and she posts them then on her uh, page. And we're seeing this evolve, really, and going beyond just women, not wanting to wear a hijab. We're seeing men now uh, coming up and supporting the women. Many are posting <laughs> pictures like this one here, themselves covering their heads to show that they stand with the women of the country. And let me just show you here to finish, Sumi, one very interesting and heartwarming video, in fact. Um, this one here also posted on Instagram. A woman standing outside a stadium. She wants to climb up the stadium wall to watch a match that is going on inside. And then you see the men there helping her to get on that wall. Now, you might ask yourself why the woman is not just using the main entrance. Uh, but the fact is that women in Iran are not allowed to attend a match if there are men at that sporting event. And that is why uh, she has to kind of sneak up that wall to see what's going on in the stadium. So we're seeing the men now also supporting the women. That is a positive change that we're seeing in Iran.